Hello and welcome. In this session, we'll be taking a look at how to normalize using data analytics, uh, various information um, in inventory in Ivanti Endpoint Manager. Uh, as a first note, you have to be licensed for data analytics. Uh, if you are not, please feel free to reach out to a sales executive or your sales rep at uh, Ivanti. In your management console, under toolbox on the left-hand side, click on data analytics and then data translation services. Uh, if you do not have the toolbox available, you can also do this via tools, data analytics, and then data translation services. Expand all types, scroll down and find normalize, expand that and click on all rules. You'll see that there are already some rules that are out of the box with Avanti. Uh, for example, we'll work with a manufacturer's one. So that is already there. In most cases, you should just be able to right click and set it as active. Usually, as soon as you set any of these rules as active, it will ask you or prompt you if you want to run this against all devices in your database, uh, just so that you can normalize the data that's already out there. Once the rule is set as active and you've finished that process of scanning against all devices, any new devices that scan in will automatically apply this rule during every inventory scan. You simply say yes and click start. In my case, I do not have that many devices, so it shouldn't take too long. Once finished, you can either select close when finished, it'll automatically close the, the box, or you can close it manually. Just to take a brief look at what this rule looks like. We're working with the Management Suite database, which is Endpoint Manager database, and we're working with computer data. Next, this is the attribute in the database that we'll be using. Uh, you may want to use a custom one or a manual one or a different one that you've got in your database. So you can simply find if you have a custom inventory attribute at the moment, open up the inventory on the device, have a look and it should show you exactly what that database attribute is. The default is computer.manufacturer. So as you can see, we've already got pre-populated and these are already added by default by Ivanti. If you have any new devices scanning into your database, they will appear under existing. And then you can simply add a map over to or a value over to one of the ones that's already custom out of the box. This will enable you to create a custom mapping. So if you're using any kind of hardware that falls outside of the defaults that's already in the data analytics database, uh, this is where you would map them. And that is how we normalize the manufacturers so that they display a uniform name within Ivanti Endpoint Inventory. Um, the, the reason we would use this is, for example, uh, Hewlett Packard, Lenovo, they may bring out a new model. And instead of having Hewlett dash Packard, they may now just have HP, which means if you have older devices in your environment and newer devices, you may have Hewlett Packard, you may have HP. By normalizing everything to either Hewlett Packard or HP, it will make reporting much easier. If you're using extraction, your reports will be more accurate. Uh, if you're running queries in your database, um, it's easier to find one manufacturer um, rather than you know five different variations of it. Um, this could apply to any of your manufacturers. If you see that you know from one device or one BIOS update to another, that inventory value has changed, you can normalize them across the board. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us here at NCSI.